Hi, let's discuss DPDA and NPDA. DPDA, DPDA is said to be deterministic if for every del Q A X has at most one outcome for all A belongs to either alphabet or A is equal to epsilon and X belongs to some stack symbol. So there should be at most one outcome then this is a DPDA. And DCFL, the language accepted by DPDA is called DCFL. So these are the some examples of DCFL A power N, B power N, N greater than equal to 1. Then A power M, B power N, C power M, M, N greater than equal to 1. Then W, X, W reverse, W belongs to A plus B, positive closure. Then number of A in W equal to number of B in W. So these are some example of deterministic contest free language. They are for every input alphabet and topmost tag symbol maximum there can be one outcome. Every regular language is DCFL but DCFL need not be regular. And every language accepted by DPDA is also accepted by NPDA. You can say every DCFL is CFL. As well, the language accepted by NPDA is called as CFL. By default, contest free language is accepted by NPDA. Rather than calling it NCFL, we are calling it CFL. The language that is accepted by NPDA that is called as contest free language. And the language that is accepted by DPDA that is called as deterministic contest free language. So regular language is subset of deterministic contest free language. And deterministic contest free language is subset of contest free language or you can say non-deterministic contest field language. Next closure property of DCFL. DCFL is closed under complement, inverse homomorphism, quotient with regular language. DCFL, quotient regular language will be DCFL. Then intersection with regular language, DCFL intersection regular language will be deterministic contest field language. Then difference with regular language. DCFL is not closed under union, concatenation, intersection, plain closure, substitution, homomorphism, reversal, and quotient. This is not important because no question asked about DCFL, question asked about contest free language. Contest free language means it is non-deterministic and that I will discuss later. These are just closure property of DCFL. If it is as closure property of contest free language, this is not. This is for DCFL only. Next is NPDA. The PDA is said to be non-deterministic if every del Q A X has more than one outcome for all A belongs to alphabet or A equal to epsilon and X belongs to some stack symbol. If for same input alphabet and same topmost symbol of the stack there are more than one transition then it is a NPDA. The language accepted by NPDA is called CFL. We are not saying it is non-deterministic contest free language because by default contest free language accepted by NPDA. The language accepted by NPDA are W, W reverse. W belongs to A plus B positive closure. Then W, A, W reverse. W belongs to A plus B positive closure. W, B, W reverse. W belongs to A plus B positive closure. So these are some example of non-deterministic contest free language which can be accepted by NPDA. Next, closure property of contest free language. Contest free language is closed under following operation, union, concatenation, clean closure, substitution, homomorphism, inverse homomorphism and reverse. Intersection with regular language, one contest free language when intersection with regular language you will get contest free language. Quotient with regular language, contest free language, divide by regular language, you will get some contest free language. Then CFL is not closed under following operation. First is complement, intersection, difference, symmetric difference, and quotient. Just remember CFL is not closed under complement, intersection. Maximum question comes about this. CFL is not closed under complement and CFL is not closed under intersection. Let's take one example. If L1 is A power M, B power N, C power P and M equal to N means this number of A equal to number of B followed by any number of C. This is a conditional language. 
Let's take another language a power m, b power n, c power p, n equal to b. Means any number of a followed by equal number of b followed by equal number of c. Then intersection of both language will be a power m, b power n, c power p and m equal to n equal to p. Means number of a equal to number of b equal to number of c. This is not a contextual language. It is a context sensitive language. So intersection of two contextual language is not context free. It is a context sensitive. Even complement of contextual language is not context free. It will be context sensitive. And context free language intersection with regular language that is context free language. Here I have written CFL is closed under intersection with regular language and quotient with regular language. So CFL intersection regular language will be context free language. Closure property is important. Lots of questions asked from closure property. In regular language, it is closed under all. Then context free language, it is not closed under complement, intersection, difference. Maximum question comes about this complement, intersection, and it is closed under union, concatenation, clean closure, substitution, homomorphism. Just remember, CFL is not closed under complement and intersection. If any doubt, just ask me in comment. Thank you.